All right, so we got a Kit Fox 912 ULS. We've got a dead ignition system on the right side. This is a older ignition system, 2002. And at one point, all these terminals had to be replaced because the guy tried to relocate the uh, CDI boxes, but we kind of got it back to OEM and he's been having an issue with one ignition system dying. So one of the first things we did was we swapped the ignition switch leads and just made sure that it wasn't related to the ignition switch. And then the next thing we did is we swapped the um, stator wires and the problem uh, swap sides. So the stator wires are these two red wires coming from the stator in the back and that's the source of the power for the ignition. Okay. So what we did is we came down here and we grounded out on the intake. Please excuse the uh, bumpy camera here. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna check the ohms resistance on these. See if I can put it right there. So first ignition, we got nothing showing an open connection. And then the other side, we hear the beep and the continuity and we're showing about 3.6 ohms. And then this one is dead. So we're gonna try shaking it around seeing if that does it. And then the next step is I'm gonna cut this terminal off and then we're gonna to try to go to the wire itself um, because it's a little hard to get access to the stator. Um, so we're gonna check it here and just see if there's still a break because it might just be a bad, bad connection here at the terminal. Okay, so we got the terminal cut off. We're still grounded out here. And we'll see. Hey, look at that. Well, not real steady, but what do we got here? 3.6, okay. So it was a bad terminal connection. And our other one, still working good. So, luckily JM Aero Service comes prepared. Got some new OEM terminals. We're gonna throw one on, we're gonna test it out and see if that helps. All right, so make sure if you guys are ever installing these pins or using the proper pliers. These ones are designed to put that perfect little uh, curl over on them. And uh, yeah, you don't want to use traditional crimpers for these things. All right, so we got our new connector on there. She's all crimped. And we got the uh, solder gun heating up. Put a little solder on there and seal her up.